Hello, in this video, I am going to cover float variables with you, also known as single precision floating point. Okay, so for let's get that in there in case you, you know, read, read, you know, that somewhere. First of all, we're going to do a couple of hash includes. The first one is going to be stdioh, just a standard input output library. Then we're going to do a hash include of float.h. This is not specifically required to use floats, just doing this so we can print out some hash defines that you know show us the min and max of float values. That's all, there's, there's no other reason to doing this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is do a few printfs. So printf, and I'm gonna say positive float min. And for percent G, percent G is, you know, we'll do scientific notation, um, backslash n, the new line character. FLT underscore min is the float min. And remember, this is what is retrieved from the float H. And I'll duplicate this for the four instances. This can be positive float max. And we'll change this to max. And we'll change what we'll do is I'll copy these two actually. This just have a negative at the start, and this will be the positive float. No, this will be the negative float min and negative float max. So if I save that and if I increase the size of this, run it, that's what we get. So those are the minimum and maximum positive values that you can do for negative numbers actually technically would that not be the yeah that should be all right actually might have got the mix around but should be okay okay so those are the values that you can do if you put like f which allows you to print float values it'll give you the more specific value which you know is zero and for the max, it'll give you something really high there as well. Da, 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 da. And there we go. You might be thinking, you know, this looks a lot different. This one looks obviously a lot more like this one. This one looks a lot different to this. It's just the way internally numbers are stored. They're never 100% exactly the way, you know, you specify you. So you may come across issues like that. And it's something I'll probably cover in separate videos in more depth. But for now, you don't really need to worry about that sort of stuff. Okay, put this back to a G and a G. And to actually, what we're also going to do is print out the precision value. So precision value, this will just be an percent I backslash N, comma, F L T underscore G, so this is just a float digit save it run it and we have float our precision of six so this says that we can have up to six decimal points with float without losing any precision okay and now if we create a float variable float and then we name it let's say f i'm gonna say 5.5 .5, just to keep it simple equal 5.5 .5, that is and to print it let's do print f you just now just put percent f. Started that was not meant to. Percent f, then backslash n, just, just to format it, comma f. Save that, run it, and we get 5.5. .5. As you can see, it also puts zeros for the rest of it because that's the maximum level of precision. It'll just fill it with zeros. And if I was to put like 1, 2, for example, run it we get 5.512. If I was to put, let's say, 678, and that prints out. What happens if I was to put a nine here? It's got rounded. So just bear that in mind. So if I was to put like a one, it gets rounded down. If you have more than six digits with a float number, you will get some sort of rounding occur. Also, to you know, bear in mind, depending on the compiler, the rounding may not be as straightforward as or easy to grasp in your head the way you did it in school. It can vary. Just want to mention that if, if you ever ha come across something you think it's not rounding the right way, it's probably just the way it's just been, you know, set up 
or you know underneath and you can read more about that based on your compiler and your situation but yeah can't go beyond six digits of precision that's still quite a lot of precision for most applications to be fair if you want greater precision precision you can use something called a double the next video is going to cover that so feel free to check that out if you have any questions feel free to join the discord group there's a link in the description there's over 4,000 members now plenty of programming channels on there there's also a link in the description to the github page where you can check out all the source code from this tutorial series and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video